Hello programmers, welcome back to my code data tutorial. In previous video, we saved and fetched data from code data. In this tutorial, I will show how to delete single data from code data and also completely clean core data. In third, in third part, which is the next one, I will show how to fetch certain elements from core data. So let's get started. This is my previous project from the previous tutorial. So this is our main node storyboard. We did not do anything on the main node storyboard. This is my XC data model of core data. We had one user entity and two attributes. So we gave object oriented approach to this project. So this is our core data handler, uh, which is a new class file, which inherits NS object. And we had two methods, uh, three methods. In fact, first one was a private function, which was get context. Another was save, save object. And third one was fetch object. I just added this comments so when I upload this project you guys can sort out which part is from which video tutorial so this is this part was in video part one and in this tutorial we will delete single object and clean delete whole core data so let's get started our first function will be function delete object and this will also be a class function and we need to pass in user and it will be user and we will return boolean so that we know that it worked so let con let context equal to get context and we will just delete the user so context dot delete and we will pass in ns manage object which is our user and we will just save it so do try context dot save and return true and if you catch an error then just return false so let's just test it out so for now oh, we don't need to print out yeah we can do this as well so let's say print mm -mm. before delete and let's do after delete as well so let's say core data manager handler dot delete and we will pass in a random user let's say user number one and we will fetch the objects again and print it out and just just paste it over here and fetch objects. this will be after delete and we don't need to delete the user again so let's run the application okay okay this should be wrapped unwrapped so now let's run the application so okay here it is before delete there were four objects and after delete we have three objects so we can put this in if statement as well so if open parentheses and let's put one more over here and all this indented well so that's how uh, we can use delete so now let's work on clean delete so it will be core data handler and we need to create one more function which will be class function as well class function clean delete we don't need to pass in anything and uh, we can just return boolean as well and let's select context equal to get context and let delete equal to ns batch delete request uh, don't select batch delete result select ns batch delete request and open parentheses and fetch request it will be user which is our entity dot fetch request now we just need to say do context dot execute and we need to pass in our request which will be delete and this throws an error so we will say try and if it works we will return true 
and if it doesn't work we will return false I'll just put it bring it in between so this is what we do now let's do this again so after our before delete after delete this will be before single delete and I will like stop making adding more data so I'll just take this out and just say true so that I don't have to take out if statement and let me do that you guys will get confused otherwise so I just took it out and this one is for okay how about this one okay 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 that was it so and great so we are not adding any more data and this will be after single delete okay so if what we can do is we can print out length of our array so print user dot count and if core data handler dot clean delete where did it go we forgot to save it so just say command s we saved the function so clean delete and let's print we need to fetch the users again as well so user equal to core data handler dot fetch request fetch object and print user dot count so let's run the application again okay we need one more bracket over here so let's okay the application is running so here here it is so before single delete we had three objects after single delete we had two objects and uh, before our clean delete we had two objects and then after clean delete we have zero objects so this is how you delete single object and clean delete whole core data thank you guys keep watching and don't forget to subscribe